So um, these are curling around and very difficult to cut and um, this patient can't really get down to her toes to trim them like this one. Um, and this is just a genetic thing. So what we're going to do is if you watch I'm going to use just the tips. This is how we use the clippers so for anybody who uh, goes to my website and buys one you want to just use the tips and then cover before you snap so that it doesn't fly into your eyes or your mouth. And you just follow the shape of the nail just like that. And um, that's what we're going to do with all the rest of them. So now you were looking at the picture of the sea lions and you said that you trained I sea lions? I trained and performed with sea lions for 10 years, yep. Wow. And how did you get into that? I met my first husband and I ran away and joined the circus. <laughs> <laughs> the circus? <laughs> yeah. And he already had trained sea lions, so I learned how to train sea lions from him. Wow. Anything else that you learned to train? Well, I worked with porpoises. I worked with a few killer whales, but it was mainly sea lions. Awesome. Um, trained an otter one time. Uh, and I I trained, I, I, I tamed a mountain lion on the Gentle Bend series. Nobody paid any attention to him, and I used to stop and feed him fish. And so I got to be his best buddy. So you, on Gentle Bend? Yeah, the TV series. And you said you, you did, so was the porpoise you trained for Flipper? No, it you, was at, that was at Marine World, okay. Africa, USA. Wow. And I didn't really train it, I just helped perform with it. That is so, I don't think I've ever met anybody in that profession before, that's so cool. <laughs> well, I don't think there's too many women in the circus anymore with sea lions because it's too hard to travel with them. Well, and I don't think they have a lot of animals in the circus anymore, no. anyway. No, I don't think they do either. Thanks to PETA. Well, that's good and bad. Well, if you make your living with animals, they are very well taken care of. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the fellow that trained Flipper has gone completely full bore where he doesn't believe in any animal being captured anymore. So that's, you know, that's his prerogative, but I still think animals in captivity live longer than animals in the wild. And they're treated for their illnesses. and. Do you have any great stories about any of the sea lions you trimmed? Well, we lost one sea lion on Flipper when we were doing a, a series. And uh, the plot was she was on top of this uh, little uh, dinghy and she was supposed to fall off into the canal, which she did. Except that instead of jumping, she fell in between the boat and the and the seawall, and it scared her, so she took off. Well, she was gone for 10 days. We had a... Um, so lost her, like really lost her, yeah, not, we really not lost, lost her like she yeah, died. Yeah, she didn't come back. I mean, she was terrified. She took off. And they had um, a reward out for her, and people were calling in. She was in people's swimming pools. She was everywhere. It was <laughs> ridiculous. We were running to and fro from one part of Miami to the other part. And uh, we found her in Key Largo. She, they had heard that there was a reward for the sea land, and she hadn't eaten in 10 days, so she was jumping on people's boats, and they were feeding her bait. Well, the more they'd feed her bait, the more she'd applaud and, you know, talk to them. And, <laughs> that's <was> so funny. <laughs> yeah. So that's, uh, that's how we got her back. When we arrived, they were, right. there was a... <laughs> bunch of boats circling her and one guy was trying to lasso her, oh. which wasn't working at all. And uh, I got up in the boat with a megaphone and I called her name and she head came up and she looked around and she saw me and she just flew into the boat and jumped in and spread eagle like, where the heck have you been? <laughs> She'd had enough of living in the wild. Huh? Yeah, she was my namesake. And the uh, first time I took her out to work her she must have been mad at me for letting her go because she ran right up to me and bit me in my knee. <laughs> the only time she ever bit me, even when she was wild out of the ocean. Wow. <laughs> it was the only time. When she was she was a character. Now, how long do they live? If Barring accidents and illnesses, they'll live 20, 25 years in captivity. 
Do, you, do people train seals as well or just sea lions? You can train seals, but they're not as mobile as a sea lion. Mm -hmm. A sea lion has external ears and large flippers, so they walk and they bark. A seal has internal ear line, uh, ears, mm -hmm. and they have small flippers with long claws, and they they kind of scoot along on their belly, so they're not quite as mobile. But they they can be taught to do different things. So I know they got rid of like the killer whale shows, right? At Sea World, yeah. do they still use sea lions and have those shows? I believe they do. I haven't heard that they've done away with that. I. That could be coming, though, I don't know. You know, that was kind of a, a sad accident because the girl was laying on a platform in the water with her hair dangling. Mm -hmm. And the animal was trained in a behavior when something's in the water to pick it up and go with it. Mm -hmm. And he grabbed her hair and took her down. So I don't really think he was trying to hurt her. I think he was doing what he thought was the right thing to do. Yeah. Of course, that's my, just my opinion. I'm sure there's a lot of theories everywhere. <laughs> yep. And now I just, I have my horse and my cats, that's it. And I have a little Palomino horse that I love dearly. How old is your horse? Oh, I bought an older one because I've gotten older and it's, <laughs> it's better to have a calmer horse, so mm -hmm. she's uh, she was uh, 15 when I got her. I had one that lived to be uh, 28 years old, and when I lost him, that was pretty sad. It's like losing your family. Yeah, and you said your husband's horse was 38. Yep, my husband's horse was 38. I could not believe when he told me how old. Yes, it was pretty amazing. Last time he rode him, the horse was like 37, no, he was 36 at the time, and Bob was 87 on his birthday was the last time. The guys had to lift Bob up into the saddle because he couldn't get on anymore. And he walked, trotted, and cantered. It was pretty cool. In fact, I have it on video. Do you want to see it? Yeah. It was pretty cool. Mm. Well, as far as the nails go, Let's see how comfortable this keeps you, okay. and see if um, we can keep you comfortable in between visits just by trimming them. Okay. And it's fine. Go get your pedicures. And um, and so normally what we'll do is we'll see somebody back at about two and a half months. Okay. okay. And so let's do that. And you know, and we'll see from there if you feel like the pedicures are are doing fine then we don't need to have you keep coming back but if you want me to do it and then go get a pedicure that's fine too i kind of like the way you clip them maybe i should just come here and have them clipped and then let them paint them and that's <laughs> you know we're actually right now in the process of looking into having a pedicurist in the office oh are you that would be great yeah so that you could go right from here over to there that would that would be ideal all right all right, so these should be way more comfortable now. So this is a hereditary thing, huh? The, the curving around of the nails, yes. Mm -hmm. And um, if you lived long enough, it was going to happen. I, it can also happen from injury or trauma, but in your case, it most likely is just, you know, thanks, Mom, thanks, Dad. And if you lived long enough, they eventually would do that, mm -hmm. so... I don't remember my mom's nails doing that. And my dad died when I was a kid, so I have no idea what I what would have an is. Yeah. So. All right. So these look good, and so what we'll do is we'll get you on the schedule for two and a half months, and then we can adjust it up or down okay. from there. So. Okay. Very good. All right.